I'm sure you have your ways that you like to work or your personality um, pluses and minuses. We all, ha we all have those, so we shouldn't hide from those. We should right. just be clear about those. And in some cases, you know, with some of my people directly that report to me, uh, my my you know deficiencies are the things that I'm naturally bad at. I ask them to help me. That I tell them that I want to work on them, and I'm trying to get them to help me with some of those things and call me out and uh, when I'm doing that. And servant leadership is basically the idea that uh, if you're a manager, if you're a leader, your job is to serve those above you and those people above you are the individual contributors or the managers, basically like the people closest to the customer. And yes. it just clicked and made sense to me because I thought from a math standpoint, like the whatever size of your company, most people uh, the most amount of people that you're going to have are the people that are those individual contributors who are and those are the closest to the customer. So yeah. you're going to have first order feedback versus, you know, the CEO, the manager, whatever that's going to have, you know, um, basically the telephone version of feedback. Um, yes, we, there's many ways that we make it known that it's okay to fail. Um, you know, for us, Failure is not an issue. The issue is like if we don't learn from it. And right. so like we get really spun up or wound up if if we feel that we're not, one, we didn't pull a lesson out of the failure, mm -hmm. or two, we keep repeating that mode of failure over and over. So therefore we haven't learned as an organization or as an individual, as a team. And so that's where we really get stuck on. And uh, But in terms of failure, it's no, it's, it's part of the feedback loop. And we want to have those happen as quickly as possible with the least impact of the customer, obviously. But like we want to learn from